good day everybody quickest unload ever it's just a small load here at the yard at the house on the way in town this strand Right. There it is just a oh goodness. There's uh three ways to town from my house. Three uh six ways. The gold point ferry. Which takes the Ross, eh? The military ferry. Which takes right into St. John here, but the other side of it. Or the Westfield Ferry, which I come that way. I gotta drive right by the scrapyard to get here. Get my, to get to the shop. So I figured I'd just uh, grab a few things, make the right way a bit wider. I'm gonna get the shop. So if we get the shop to put another load on for today, bring it in. We'll show you waiting paid while we're loading the other one. See you in a sec. Hey yo, and we're at the shop, all loaded. Got our clean cast aluminum, old sheet, old sheet. They'll tell me what this is when I get in there. Um, threw this on, then discovered a motor in it, and the motor's copper. So I put this back off. That's all plastic. I'm not going to take that. I don't want to run away in a good name with them. <coughs> so we got everything out of here that we're taking out. Thought we were going to have two loads at least, but we didn't. So I'm probably going to come back here. I've dropped this load off and uh, do some cleaning. So we'll, uh, if not, we'll do some work up the house. One of the two, we'll catch you then. So that last load there, they look for a small, small thing on the way in. It was only 12 bucks. These are like 260 pounds of uh, shred. So this one here probably won't be too, too much better. But I got a bill to pay, so I have to take some of the non-ferris in today and get that out of here. And, Start building up again with all this stuff. It won't take long to build back up now that I'm uh, set up to go. Tear this stuff down tonight or tomorrow morning. Load on the trailer, hook it on the truck, and take the loaders on the truck along with it. So, we'll see you in a bit. We'll let you know how much I'm going to wait and pay for this one. Unloading at the scrapyard, part two. All right. So, I'm not gonna need this one on anymore. We're in the yard. There we go. Now we bring out first. Ha. The other side here. Start loading here.
Oops, bop you, sorry guys. Walk around a truck, you get the trailer in here. Ooh, she windy. <coughs> I'm up inside and a lot of shred bucket. stuff here is uh, how I clean cast aluminum and uh, clean sheet and whatever these are Scales get away for the uh, shred, then take the non ferris out back, and then we'll be back with the weighting paid in a bit. Alrighty, weighting paid and back at the shop from the second load. So we had just 400 pounds of shred, $110 ton for $22. Clean cast lumen, we had 37 pounds at 40 cents a pound for $14.80. Aluminum siding, we had uh, six pounds at 50 cents a pound, three bucks. Uh, new MLC, uh, 10 pounds, five pounds total. We have the tire weight, yep, so we had 275 for that at 55 cents a pound. Old aluminum, we had uh, 10 pounds at 45 cents a pound for 450. We had ballasts. Now, this is something I wanted to check. Um, to see whether we're breaking the ballast up or not to get the copper out of them. And it definitely is because of the ballast, I only got eight cents a pound for $1.92. So from now on, I had 27 pounds of ballast. From now on, I'm going to break up the uh, ballast. It was 24 pounds, right? three pounds, 27, three pounds tire, tire. So 20, 24 pounds, and we got $1.92. So I'm definitely going to be breaking them up for the copper in the future because they do get quite a bit of them. So the total for the second round today was $49. And the first run, it's not it. And the first run I said earlier was twelve dollars. So that's a uh, fifty, sixty-one dollars for a little bit of crap at them over here at the shop. So that wasn't too shabby. Could have been a lot worse, I guess. So I couldn't go right home because I gotta load my barrels. Because when I get up to eighty kilometers an hour, they're just gonna blow in the back. When you hit 50, 55 miles an hour, they, they want to fly away. <coughs> and we're going to. Uh, Grab some tools while we're here. So we can uh, 
Turn some stuff out the house tomorrow morning. So we got the truck loaded, it is said, the other night. So we'll take that in tomorrow. We'll take this stuff in here. Take this one. Take another light one, I guess. Ugh. Take these two in. <coughs> and we'll just start gathering some tools here. Lots of space in here now. Just gonna walk around with stuff I haven't moved out of my way yet. These here. Go right back here. Oh, I got a raised skill sign tomorrow too, so I can uh, finish out the top off this one. <coughs> so we got a lot of this old stainless steel we never looked through. Got a whole bunch of this stuff in here. I gotta go through over the coming days. Now, we need a big tote. Oh my goodness. Put that down here for now. The tote's got a big hole in the bottom, so that won't do me. In here. This one here looks better. So, what are we gonna need for tools at the house? All right. So take this. Then I'm gonna need my drill. Oh. I'm going to need this for sure. The grinder. Take one of these out. These out. They're not only them. Take the pliers. <coughs> Take the vice grips. Uh, all the hammers are here. Take the hammer with me. Take these with me. I got the. Uh, don't need that electric one out there because I have. What you call her? <laughs> oh yeah, there's something I might need right here. Security bit set. Get that out. <coughs> I'm gonna need these chargers and batteries. There's the battery for the sawzall. And the battery and charger for the um, drill. Now I get the saws all of the drawer back back here. Yikes. Uh, this drawer here is it? Nope. Oh, I need a skill saw. We need a safety goggles we got stored away down here. Oh look at there it is. We're not gonna need a drill. We're gonna need a pack of these though. Pack of those. There. And a grinder tool. <coughs> I got a ratchet up there, so I have to worry about that. Won't need those. How heavy is a sucker? Oh, not too bad. Oh, yeah. Need a bigger hammer. <laughs> Woo, she's heavy. <clears throat> what in the world is this thing? I have no idea what this is or even came from. What in the world is it? It's an empty box, yay! Garbage. All right. What's that? <coughs> it's 
to set these inside the door for now to heck with it. <coughs> this is the heavy sucker. <coughs> Here we go. Go stuff in the garage when I come in tomorrow. All right. Here's that. So we're on our way home. Nothing left in there. So tomorrow morning we're going to uh, <coughs> tear down a couple of things at the house, bag the balls and cans are still left there, take them over, then come in here process some more stuff to take in probably Thursday. So I don't even have time tomorrow after doing everything particularly well, let's take a good load in. So we'll prep a load for, uh, for Thursday. We'll try to load the trailer tomorrow night with shred and whatever. Hook up the truck and then we'll take the, the van home, meet the little guy. He's got tomorrow off school. And uh, let's go from there. Yeah. So I'm not gonna let you go yet because I'm gonna probably come back in on the ferry so you can see what I do on a daily basis for traveling. I'm gonna take the, uh, the Milledgeville ferry home. It leaves in half an hour. So it's 10, 15 minutes to get there. So there's always a line up, so we won't have a problem getting on it. We could go the other way, through the old point, but this time of day, you could be waiting for a half an hour, 45 minutes to get on it. But this way here, Maybe at this point, you need about half an hour, you're on the ferry and on your way across the river. So, you see a little bit of the run here. Get that thing up there. there we go. I see better at the van window, I think. That's how it's high up in the seas, yard and truck. Yep, trailer's still on. We're good. <laughs> Big city of St. John, New Brunswick. We're going up that road, but we got to go down and around to come back to it. That's either kilometers an hour, by the way. That's about uh, 60 miles an hour. 90 kilometers an hour is uh, 90 kilometers an hour is 55 miles per hour. So is probably about 60 miles per hour on highway here. I'm doing, eh, 120. Tell me trailer. Empty though. <coughs> Alrighty. So I'm gonna let you go here now and I'll bring you back when we're on the ferry. And throw my ferry right over the house. If you have a couple seconds for you, about 10, 15 minutes for me to get to the ferry and about a 10 minute wait when I get there. See you in a second. So here we are at the Millersville Ferry Landing in Millersville. Over on the side of the water, I don't really see the ferry over there on the other side or not, it's just docking on the other side. That's the peninsula, that's my home. That piece of land over there is uh, Kim Cases Island, K Island. You see the sun setting, you see the sun setting down that way to the west. Right where all that sun is, straight through the channel there, is Grand Bay. That's where this Kind of Cases River in front of us meets the St. John River, and it's called Grand Bay. Yep. So there's that little park there. You feel like getting out of your car, wait for the boat. There's already mm, five cars in front of me here. And I'm, uh, what the hell early am I? I'm uh, 20 minutes early. So... This sign, oh, I'm beside it, be full, and there'll be cars waiting to get on the next boat after this one. So, it unloads, it'll leave there on the hour. 
So in five minutes, they'll leave the other side and come this way. A quarter after, they'll leave this side and head over that way, over that side. It's every 15 minutes on shuttles, so 15 minutes to cross. So it's every quarter to the hour, quarter after the hour on this side, the military side, and every hour and half hour over on the peninsula side to catch that boat. And all the other ferries to the peninsula are cable ferries. They go year round. This one shuts down for the winter, uh, usually around Christmas time or shortly after. Now, it usually doesn't start up till mid April, but the, the river opened up so early this year that they brought it on the second week of March, a whole month early. That's how mild our winter was this year. So, not complaining. So, I'll uh, probably show a view when I'm on the ferry and then we'll sign off, but uh, stay tuned. We're going to be on the boat next. Alrighty, the ferry's just unloading here. We'll be getting on shortly. There we go. Not as many cars as I thought there'd be for the ferry. Didn't even fill up the first lane here. Might be three cars behind me. The water's quite high. I mean, you come on here last week and you're going down quite a bit. That hurt. <laughs> that was bottoming out in the boat. Front, back, trailer hitch, everything hit. Oh well. We'll try to be better getting off, eh? So you got as close to the car in front of you as you can to make more one the boat. So that kind of hurt getting on. Hopefully it didn't do any damage, but if it did, it did. Nothing you can do about it. Just gotta fix it. Walk into my world. So I'll bring you back when we're out on the river. We're actually nan out this time. I'll bring you back when we unload and see if we can do a better job of it. <laughs> Alrighty, we're coming into dock here on the peninsula side in the ferry. See some, uh, oh, what are they called? Cormorants out there. Flock of cormorants. They're back for the year. And hopefully, when I get off the boat, I won't bang as bad when I get on it. We have to go off the ramp sideways try to cut back on the uh, drag which is a trick in itself coming off a narrow ramp sideways with a vehicle with a trailer on it but we'll see what we can do to avoid that bang bang <laughs> Oop, sorry for the fingers there making sure she was adjusted so this is my daily commute I think one boat or the other I say this is a free running boat here. It's not out, not on a cable. The other uh, other ferries here are on the cable. So, all right. Let's see what we can do this time. What kind of trouble are we gonna get into now? I'll go over this way here. Oh, Larry. <laughs> See, we can't drag. Look at that. We didn't drag getting off. Just like we knew what we were doing. That was fun, though. All right, guys. So I'm getting ready to get on the ferry to go to the city. And uh, with that uh, interesting ferry ride, well, at least the embarking on the ferry was interesting. Bang, bang. We'll uh, let this all go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, comment. And uh, until next time. God bless.